Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to start, stop, or reset a virtual machine from the command line in VMware Workstation. So this could come in handy if you're doing some kind of startup script or batch file or other process where you need to use a command to start or stop a virtual machine. So in VMware Workstation 17, there is a way to do so from the My Computer section here the auto start option, but you, you have to do a little bit of tweaking to really get this to work. I don't think it's really fine tuned yet. Uh, we did a video on how this works, so I'll put a link in the description for that if you want to check it out. But for this video, we're going to be doing the uh, command line. So what we're going to do, we're going to use this Windows 10 Pro virtual machine. So what you have to do is find the uh, VMX file location, and you can see down here, it's in VMware VMs, Windows 10, Windows 10 VMX, which I have open here. So first thing you got to do is navigate to this directory with a command prompt. So just a CD and paste that in there, assuming you use the default location. And so now what we're going to do is close workstation. And we're going to start that VM with this a VM run dash TWS start and then the path in quotes since there's spaces. So we're just going to right click to paste it in, press enter. So you can see it starts up Workstation with just that VM tab open. So we'll let it start up here real quick. Okay, so now we'll use the shutdown command or stop command to shut it down. Let's watch what happens here. So you can see it's actually shutting it down, not just killing it. Okay, and it closed off Workstation 2. So let's start it up real quick, and I'll show you another trick here. Okay, so now let's say we're going to close Workstation and have this VM running in the background. So it's still running, but Workstation's not. So you can still use the stop command to shut it down, even though it's running in the background. Okay, so now if we open up Workstation, there's that Windows 10 Pro and it's not running because it shut it down in the background. And then of course you have the reset, which will just reboot it. So once again, just navigate to this directory, uh, use this command with, you know, obviously change the path to match yours for your VMX file, and then you could start shut down and restart your virtual machines from the command line or put it in a script or whatever you need to do. I'll put all this stuff in the uh, description as well and you could try it out for yourself. All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.